Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the support for G++ and GCC on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's open the terminal. To open the terminal, you need to click on this show apps icon and then just click on this terminal icon. And once the terminal is open, first of all, you need to give this command, which is sudo apt update and then press enter and give your password which you used to log into your Ubuntu operating system which is going to and once this command is finished we are going to clear the terminal and the second command is sudo apt install build hyphen essential I'm going to put all these commands in the description of this video so you can copy them and paste them into your terminal so let me press enter here and then press Y and then press enter once again, which is going to install this build essential package, which also includes the support for GCC and G++. So we are going to wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So once this command is finished, we are going to once again clear the terminal. And now the G++ and GCC is installed on your Ubuntu operating system. Now, those of you who don't know what is G++ and GCC, G++ allows you to compile C++ programs on your Ubuntu operating system, and GCC allows you to compile your C program on your Ubuntu operating system. So we are going to first check the GCC version. To check the GCC version, just write GCC space hyphen hyphen version here and then press enter. And it's going to show you the version of GCC which is installed on your Ubuntu operating system once you have finished the build essential package installation. Similarly, we're going to check the G version. So just write G space hyphen hyphen version here and you can see that G++ is also available on our Ubuntu operating system and this will allow us to compile the C++ programs. Now once you see some kind of version in the G++ and GCC version commands, let's create some sample code and try to compile and run it using those commands. Now let's create the C++ program and try to compile it with G++ command. So for this, I'm going to uh, navigate to my documents folder. And here I'm going to create a folder with the name CPP apps. So I'm going to give the MKDIR command and then write CPP apps here, which is going to create this folder. You can see this CPP app is created and then I'm going to go inside this uh, CPP apps folder and here I'm going to create a C++ file. So I'm going to write touch test dot CPP and then press enter. But before pressing enter, let me go inside this folder in the folder explorer. So right now it's empty, right? When I press enter here, you can see this file is created. So once the file is created, you can open this file by right clicking on this file and then click on open with text editor. And once this uh, test.cpp file is uh, open in the text editor, you can just uh, paste a very simple C++ program here. This program, as I mentioned, you can find anywhere on internet very easily. So nothing special here. You can just copy and paste this hello world program into your test.cpp file and save it. To save this file, you can click on this menu icon and then click on save or just press control S to save this file. Once this file is saved, you can close this file. And now we are going to compile our C++ program using the G++ command. So I'm going to just write G++ and then the name of the file, which is test.cpp in my case. Then I want to create an output. So using hyphen O flag, you can provide the name of the binary, which will be the output of your compilation of your C++ program. I'm going to name my binary as test 
itself and then press enter and it's going to compile my uh, C++ program and you can see it has created this test binary for us. Once this test binary is created, I'm going to just run this test binary by just typing dot forward slash test and then press enter and you can see the output here. So our C++ program has been compiled successfully with the G++ command and then we have outputted this output using the binary file. Now uh, when you introduce some kind of uh, error in your code, so let's say I remove this semicolon here once again and then try to uh, compile the file once again you will see that this G++ command is going to give you the error and it's going to show you the exact location of the error where it's coming from. So you can see it says expected semicolon before return. As you can see on this line four, before the return, we want to add the semicolon. So once again, save your program and run it once again. And this time it's going to once again compile successfully and you can once again run your binary file which is the output of your c++ file compilation and when you run this program it's going to give you the output once again so this is how you can uh, install the support for gcc and g++ on your ubuntu operating system and compile your c or c++ files on your ubuntu operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.